Hello, Tony. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing great. I just have been to a birthday party, my friend's yeah. party. So she just turned another year in her life. So I just ate and hurry going back home. <laughs> wow. So, all right. So we continue our lesson and I believe we are in listening, right? Listening part three. Yes. Yeah, but for this case, when I try to look on the material, um, the listening yeah. um, is, um, the recording is not working. So instead of listening, we're going to another topic for the meantime. So we're I'm going to skip to speaking first. Okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, since we finish um, part four for speaking, we're going to have another speaking class for tonight. Yeah. And we go back to listening after I like fix the problem there. Okay? Okay. Okay, sure. Okay, let me share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Wonderful. We start. Okay, so we're going to have another list, another speaking. Uh, you know this one already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try to answer these questions quickly. Yeah. Okay. Where did you go on holiday? I go to I go to Okay. Look on uh, I go look, to Dan Okay, look to I me. went to Dana. Yes, okay, went. The very important past tense, right? Yeah. Uh again, you went to I went to Dana City last year. Mm. I see. And I mean, what did you do on that city? What did you do? I go to play. I, I visit my grandparents. All in past tense. I went to play. I visited. I all in went past tense. to play with, with my uncle and my aunt. And I visited, I visited my grandparents. Oh, I see. So you visited your grandparents. Is it yeah. fun? Is it interesting to do those things? Yeah, it is very interesting. Uh, I see. So it's really fun, right? You enjoyed the trip. Very good. Do you enjoy sightseeing when on holiday? Mm, yes, I do. Why? What did you see? I see... Oh, what? What? I see... I saw. I saw. I saw the museum, the park, or more. No, oh, I see. So you went to you see a museum. You also go. You went to park and mall. Yeah. Is that right? Mall. No, I see. You went to a mall. That's great. What are you planning on going on holiday next summer or, I mean, any other time? Where are you planning on going uh, on? Um, I will go. I am going to go to Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, it's okay that I'm going to. I am going to Ho Chi Minh City. I am going to Ho Chi Minh. So you're going down Vietnam. Why? Yeah. Why do you choose that uh, that particular place? What uh, what can you see there? I can see um what we for me I can see I can see a uh, so big playground, the pub, uh, the big museum or more. Oh, okay. Uh, almost the same uh, things that you see in the in Jana City. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, almost the same thing. But what's the difference 
between Jenna City and Ho Chi Minh City? Is the Ho Chi Minh City is more crowded. Okay, there are more people. There are more yeah. people. Mm, I see. I see. Uh, do you like more people? I mean, do you like um, crowded areas? Yeah, I like it. Oh, I see. So, I mean, like there are a lot of people crossing the streets. People, there are a lot of people in the markets yeah. like that. So, it's very um, what you say, exciting, right? Exciting. It. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of people. Let's see it. Let's see it. Right. So it makes you excited. It makes you want to go. Right. So, what about festivals? Do you have festivals during summertime? Yeah, I go to some festival, but I don't know what its name. Oh, you don't know what's the name. What is name? Though? Okay, you don't say what is name. You don't know. I don't know the name. Yeah. Can you say it? I don't know. I say yeah, it. I don't know. I don't know the name. I don't know the name. Okay. All right. So remember. Okay. You don't put what well, yeah. I don't know what is the name. I don't know the name. That's fine. All right. Okay. Okay. Would you like to try surfing in the future? You know surfing? Surfing? No. Yeah. I yes, I know surfing. Mm -hmm. But I I think I don't I will I will I won't try surfing in the future. Okay, it's try. like you don't. Uh, I don't see myself. Can say I don't see myself surfing in the future. So yeah. no reason for trying. So you can say that. I see. Uh, me, um, I like to try surfing maybe, because in the Philippines there are a lot of beaches. You know, we have a lot of beach, and very good sea, very beautiful yeah. sea, and there are high waves. And I like to try because I like swimming, I like to swim. So maybe surfing is one good thing to do also in the waters. So I like, I mean, for me, <laughs> because I like swimming. Do you like swimming? Yes, I like swimming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like surfing. Yeah, you don't like surfing or you're not interested. I'm not interested in surfing. You can say that way. It's not the case that you don't like. It's not you're just not interested. Okay. You see the difference? Yeah. Uh, when you say I don't like, it's something that you really don't like. I mean, oh, what you like that? You don't like it. But something that you just don't care. I mean, no, I'm not interested. You can say that way. Okay. Yeah. Number five. Which is your favorite city that you have visited? Which is your favorite city that you have visited? Yeah. Mm, I like to visit Ho Chi Minh City most because it's the, the last summer it is the first time I visit uh, uh, it. Okay, okay. Um, Tony, listen. Let's try yeah. to correct the grammar. So, which is your favorite city that you have visited? So, you answer, uh, Ho Chi Minh City yeah. is my, the, my most favorite city that I have visited is Ho Chi Minh City. Then you say, because. Okay, try saying it. Ho Chi Minh City is my favorite. Uh, my favorite city that I have visited is Ho Chi Minh City. Can you say that way? My, my favorite city that I have visited is Ho Chi Minh City. Because? Because next summer, it is the first time I visit Ho Chi Minh City. And I am so excited about the people and the place here. The place is there. Place I mean, is there. Yeah, because you're not in Ho Chi Minh. If you want to use here, you're supposed to be in Ho Chi Minh. But if you're not there, you say there. I see. All right. Wonderful. For example, I will answer. Uh, my favorite city that I have visited, I will always choose Quezon City. Um, it's a city next to Manila, the capital of the Philippines. 
But in Quezon City, it's much bigger and it's not crowded as of Man as Manila and it's cleaner. So I like the vibe in Quezon City. And that is where I also studied in that city. So I have lived there for quite some time. So I really love that city. So that's how I will answer that one. Okay, let's try to move forward. We try to talk about alternatives, expressing opinions, making choices, which this okay. one is, you, you know this one already, right? Useful languages. That is a good idea. That sounds great. All right, I agree. So let's skip this part. Okay, let's start. Your family are going on a holiday for several days and your parents are thinking about the, the accommodation. Talk about together about the advantages of each accommodation, then choose what is most suitable for your family. Hello, Tony. Are you there? Sorry for me. Not sure. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Yes. So you're going to talk about accommodation, okay? You are going on a holiday for several days and your parents are thinking about the accommodation. Talk together about the advantages of each accommodation. Then choose what is the most suitable for your family. Okay, so here is a picture with some ideas to help you. A hotel, a homestay. Okay. Do you know the difference? Yeah. Okay. Or if you can think of another things in Vietnam, for example, transient houses, dormitels. Do you know dormitels? Okay. So you can also use that information. I'm going to give you a minute or two so that you can write your thoughts. Then I will ask you to speak after. Okay, Tony? Okay. Gather your thoughts, conceptualize first, um, organize it. What is the first sentence supposed to be? The second, third. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hi, is your teacher? Sure. Hi. I am right a fast to you and you should check for me, right? Yes. Um you type it, then I can check it, then you will you can say it after. So try to yeah. write first, okay? Gather your thoughts. Tony, can you excuse me for a minute? I will just get my water. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your patience.
Sorry for waiting. I can see you have chat. Have finished it? Yeah. Okay, as short as this, this uh, this is only your answer. You don't like Yeah, to... I think that is okay. It's enough? Yeah. Okay, uh, what do you mean when you say convenient? Because it's as convenient as a, a homestay because <coughs> we can use the, the Asian kids the bed, the bed, or the kitchen, or more. It's, I think it's as convenient as a homestay. And we can do the thing we want like at a homestay too. Okay, so you can see their hotel because it's much cheaper. Yeah. And it is convenient as a homestay. Because when we say convenient, you can do things such as having the hygiene kit yeah. and other stuff. I see. Okay. Okay. Okay, talk together about the advantages of each accommodation. Okay. So the idea here is that what is good about hotel? What is good about homestay? So I did not ask you what is most suitable for you. The first thing here that is being asked, talk together about the advantages of each accommodation. Can you see that sentence? So it asks yeah. for you to describe a hotel and a homestay. Then you make a decision. Oh, I will do again. It's okay. Sorry, um, did I not uh, explain it well? Maybe you missed it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was shocked when you say you're already finished. <laughs>
How is it going? Uh, it's going to be good. Okay. Good to hear.
How is it going now, Tony? It's okay. Okay, can you send some so that I can see it? Okay, give me four minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is long. Is this finished okay. or are you going to? It's finished. Okay. Okay, can you try to say your answer? Yeah. A homestay is very convenient because the room of a homestay are large. Fully equipped with personal hygiene tools and necessary utensils. Okay, stop for a moment. Let's correct how you pronounce. Okay, when you write this one, you don't have to put. Sorry, this is my next class. <laughs> right, uh, look. Oh, sorry, I cannot copy. Look, um, when you put because, it's not a new sentence. You just take off the period, then because yeah. small letter. Because the rooms, because it's room, you can say it's room. You can see. Convenient. Because it's rooms are large fully equipped okay how you say it again yeah. fully equipped can you read it again can you say the word can you say the word fully equipped tony can you hear me yeah can you say fully equipped? Fully equipped? Yes. Okay. Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene. Okay, for? Necessary utensils. Okay. Can you, no, say it. Necessary utensils. Okay, I will do it again. No, say necessary. <laughs> repeat it. Repeat necessary oh, okay, utensils. Okay, okay. Oh, what can you say again? Necessary utensils. Necessary utensils. Mm -hmm. Necessary utensils. Okay, utensils, utensils. Yeah. Necessary utensils. Okay, that's great. Okay, this is one, this one is good. A homestay can have a swimming pool, playground, and or restaurant. Yeah. Then as for a hotel, that's way that's a very good uh, way to connect it. Yeah. There will be smaller rooms. Okay, this is great. Um, did you copy paste? Did you research for it or are you just the one who write it? I just write. Oh, that's nice. You sounds it sounds very smart. I mean, I like the words. And it's yeah. really nice, uh, nicely done, right? Although they are full of toiletries, but there may not be, but there may not be a swimming pool playground yeah. and restaurant. Okay. Oh, when you say can, it may or may have. Right, so but this one, there are full um, 
there may not be. So it's also the same, right? It can have and it may also have. So you can say homestay most often or most of the times homestay has. Okay, so you can say that way instead of can. Most homestays, you can say this one. Most homestays. Most homestays. Have a swimming pool. As for have the, a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. There will be. There will. There will. Will be smaller rooms. This one is good. Although. There are yeah. smaller room, but same as hotel, same but same as homestay. It, it is also fully equipped. Yeah. Can you say again? Okay. Can you see the chat box? No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, you cannot see the chat. Oh, but you can see my screen, but you cannot see my chat. Yeah. I can see the screen. Okay. Can you see it? A homestay is very convenient because its rooms are, can you see the chat, are large, fully equipped with personal hygiene, tools, and necessary utensils. Most homestays have a swimming pool, playground, and a restaurant. As for retail, there will be smaller rooms, but same as homestay, it is also fully equipped. Oh, yeah. It's, it's better than mine. Okay, so it's shorter, and you don't yeah. have to repeat a lot of words. Yeah. Uh, Only then you can say only few hotels has the same facilities as the homestay. Okay, then answer now the question. What is then, you see, advantages, then choose what is the most suitable for your family. Yeah. What is the most suitable thing for your family? So you have to consider how many are you in the family. For example, you will be 10. Would it be better to stay in a hotel or a homestay? I mean, how many are you in the family, Tony? Then a homestay or a hotel? So yeah. you have to finish it. You have to finish it. Oh. Do you understand, Tony? So yeah. it's not yet complete, right? So we still yeah. need the... Can you say it to my mother? Sorry. Why? Why am I going to say it to your mother? Because I think uh, I might say you say to my mother and... My mother will understand, and if I don't, if I miss the the thing you say, and my mother can say it to me. What is it? The. Oh, I'm, I'm asking about the hotel and homestay, Tony. What are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not asking for the makeup plans. What is it? No, 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 no. I... <laughs> I'm asking because you're supposed to tell me what should be, where you should stay, in a hotel or a homestay. <laughs> I mean, we're I was out. wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, did I confuse you? Was it confusing? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I mean, are you still going to choose hotel after all the things that you have said? I mean, as what I said, choosing hotel or homestay, you must consider how many people are you in the family. So how many you would be 
during your vacation, during your holiday, how many? What do you think? Would it be best to stay in a hotel if you will be 10 or more or will be homestay will be better? So what's the choice? What's, what's better? It is better, right? You understand, Tony? What's the question that I gave? Yeah. Are you confused? Oh, sorry. What happened? <laughs> Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? Is it difficult? No, he's kind of sleepy. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm talking in the chat, okay? Look in the chat, okay? So try to answer now the last part. Talk together about the advantages of each accommodation, then choose. What is the most suitable for your family? So I'm already asking that part. What is the most suitable for your family? So try to type it. Yeah. Are you still going to choose hotel or homestay? So try to answer. <laughs> I will wait for you. Teacher, my internet is not correct. Oh, I see. Your internet is not so good. Yeah, but now it's so good. It's okay now. Oh, okay. The one that I said earlier is that I need you to answer. Can you see the slide? The part two, the question. What yeah. is the most suitable for your family? Earlier, you answered hotel. But I ask you, can you consider, reconsider your answer? Because in choosing hotel or homestay, you must know how many will be in the vacation. How many are you? If we're going to have vacation, Tony. Yeah. How many do you think you will be? I think... Because, for example, you should like talk about the price, location, the food or the meals, the service, the experience with local people. So, which could be better? Oh... Do you understand the question, Tony? Yes. Okay. I mean, this one is already good, all right? You don't have to worry. It's already good. You started it good. Oh. Okay. Are you writing? Yeah. Okay. Try to write in the chat. Your answer, homestay or hotel? Hot uh, is homestay. Okay. Try to re your reason why you choose homestay, why it's better for your family.
Okay, Tony, can you send now the sentence that you have just typed? Because it's almost time. So, I mean, we're in a hurry. So that at least we can check already. But I just write two sentences. Says. It's okay. Send it. So we're going to complete it. It's okay. No worries. Okay. Go me for one minute. I just write about this. I think the best place for my family to stay, I mean, for my family is a homestay. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, Tony, when you put because, you don't have to put a period, then be capital because. It's just one sentence. Oh. Yeah? Okay. I think the best place for my family is a homestay. Yeah. Then instead of saying because you can say since, how many you will be? How many are you in the vacation? How many? What do you think? Is seven. There, because since we are seven in the family, it can easily accommodate us. Okay, try to see the chat. I think the best, I think the place, I think, sorry, I think the best, that should be, have the best. <laughs> sorry. I think the best place for my family is a homestay since we are seven in the family and it can accommodate and it can easily accommodate us. Okay, pretty good. Okay. Okay, because if you just say convenient, both, Hotel and homestay are convenient, right? Both of it are convenient. But what it's more? What's the specific quality of homestay to be better? Okay, Tony? Yeah. Yeah, Tony. Uh, try to be focused sometimes. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you have talked about your mother. So I was, what? What happened? <laughs> so do you have problem? Uh, do you encounter some in? Did you are you experiencing something? Are you okay? Yeah. Or it's just like tired because of holidays. I mean, you just finished the that holiday. It seems like oh, not so feeling good. Maybe I like yeah. to rest. I want to enjoy more, eat a lot. That kind of uh, that kind of feeling, festival feeling, festive mood. Like that, you call it festive mood, still enjoying. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming to class, Tony. So let's see each other on Thursday. Are we going to Thursday? No, Friday. Wait, yes, Friday. We're going to meet on Friday. So take good care yeah. of yourself and let's see each other on Friday, all right? I will send the information and some assignments if ever in the group chat. Okay. Have a great day, buddy. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye-bye, bye, buddy. Bye.